Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got a full makeup kit tour for you today. My whole makeup kit that I use for shows is from My Kit Co. As you can see there, that is what it looks like. It does weigh currently about seven kilos, so it is a commitment, but I am a professional singer and dancer, so I do need it every single day. Uh, this is what it looks like on the inside, all the compartments for my brushes and for my eyeshadows and um, lipsticks, etc, etc, before we get into exactly what I've got. Um, inside this little pocket, I've got some alcohol wipes, which I use for cleaning things and also cleaning my in-ears and my microphone sometimes. In this section is where I have a little zip pocket to put any spare eyelashes in. Um, this is where I keep all of my base and my glitter and then on the other side it's all my hair things. And yeah, as you'll see there's just so many compartments which is really really handy for keeping all of your stuff in, especially going travelling. That is what the outside looks like. This is my second My Kit Co case that I've had. I've had to upgrade it a couple of times because um, of my mounting <laughs> makeup, but yeah, that's where I keep all my eyelashes, uh, my book of eyelashes in that side, and in this side is where I keep all of my makeup palettes. And now we get on to all of the products that I have in my kit. This is my eyelash collection. I have lots of different styles and lengths depending on um, the show that we're doing. Uh, I do find it really fun um, to see how the lashes kind of change your look. And to me, they are just the absolute essential for show makeup. These are my beauty blenders. I've got some from Eco Tools, which is the same brand as my makeup brushes. I've got some baby blenders there. These are my glitters. I have added to these recently, as you'll see as we go further on. But I absolutely love playing around with glitter with all my looks. Um, <laughs> can't stop me. So now we're moving on to some of my palettes. Most of my makeup palettes currently are from Juvia's Place, which I think is second to none for show makeup. Um, there's just such good pigment and there's such a variety of colours. Um, I've got a few mini palettes and some of their bigger palettes, although they have just released a few new ones. I've got my EYN and my Morphe palette as well, which have loads and loads of bright colours, which I use a lot for these uh, production shows. Uh, this is my base makeup. I've got my highlighters, which are also from Juvia's Place. They are literally the glitteriest things and I absolutely love them, but they're also really soft. Don't know why I've gone backwards again, but yes, now I'm opening my um, palettes to show some of the colours. Obviously, they've been very, very well used, so um, they're not as clean as I'd like, but that is just the nature of, you know, doing shows every day. Um, but I do try and give them a good clean every so often. But some of these bigger palettes I've had for about three years now and these small ones that I'm opening are my more recent purchases. Um, Juvia's just keep bringing out more and more palettes that have more ridiculous colours in them and I just cannot stop myself. Um, but it's a lovely investment in my job and just something that I really, really take pride in when I'm doing a show night. I don't feel you know, ready unless I've really made an effort with my hair and makeup. So yeah, this is my Morphe palette. It's got loads and loads of bright colours in again. That's one that our company actually gave us for this specific contract. And this was a present from my sister from EYN, which I've used the least because I'm kind of scared to use it because it's just such a lovely present. But I have definitely used um, at least half the colours. We've got some golds and browns here, which are absolutely amazing. They're shimmer colours as well. And then just my last Juvia's palette there. Many, many colours to choose from. So just going back onto the base now, that is my Fenty Bomb highlighter, which is absolute magic. Then I've got my various blushes and um, bronzers and powders. Uh, this is my Jeffree Star Violet Coloured Setting Powder. It doesn't look violet on your face, but it does do wonders for neutralising any tones in your skin. Um, these are close-ups of my uh, Juvia's highlighters, which I spilt all over <laughs> the towel when I was filming this. And yeah, that is what the violet looks like close-up. It actually smells like candy floss, fun fact, uh, which does add another element to the show night. Uh, this is a Fenty powder that I've had. It's a banana powder. Um, I've had it for a while, but only just opened it. It is great. 
Moving on to the eyes now, that is the little disc is to clean my makeup brushes, it's like a Sephora soap. Then these are my single eyeshadows I have, a lot of them are from Sephora. The NYX ones were given to me by the company that we work for. Then these are my eyeliners, various different ones, white, black, glitter, um, like neon colours. And then all of my brow stuff is over here on the end. So we've got some gels and some pencils and some tattoo brow liquid over there. So now we're moving on to some of the extras. We have the makeup brushes that were given to us at the start of this particular contract. This is makeup sanitizing spray, very important. Then I've got all of my uh, tapes for my mic and my face when I'm doing my makeup. Um, I've got glitter glues there, loads of different kinds, whether it's, whether it's for my skin or my lashes. Um, some tools there, some scissors to cut my lashes and things to put gems on with, more lash glues. These are all of my setting sprays. Um, the NYX one was given to me and as was the Urban Decay one actually. And then I've got all of my Meron makeup that was given to us at the start of this contract. The Meron setting spray is my new absolute favourite which I'll be bringing with me on every single contract now. Um, and this is the white paint that we were using for our specific production shows. And we were also kind of given lots of these gems, which really, really lights me up. Uh, and this cool little gem tool, which I'd never seen before, to put gems on. So I am unstoppable. <laughs> So next up we've got all of the lip action, we've got lots of different products, we've got suede lipsticks, butter lipsticks, lip glosses, a little baby Sephora lipstick collection, um, and not only do they look pretty, they are actually very very decent lipsticks, don't know why but I've got an obsession with chapstick since I've been in the US, <laughs> um, various different lip glosses and these are just like individual sort of lipsticks I've picked up. This might be my favourite one, it's from Pure by Barbie um, and it is a really really decent quality lipstick as well. Um, some old MAC ones although I don't use MAC anymore since being vegan but I've not thrown them away and many lip liners. These are some products that I actually bought throughout the contract as I was filming this video. Um, I bought myself some new Eco Tools makeup brushes, all of my, well most of my makeup brushes are Eco Tools. Um, I bought myself a new Juvia's show foundation. I like to go yellow, much to everyone's hilarity in the dressing room, with my um, show foundation just because I find it better for stage lighting. This is my holy grail. It's a little multi-use Juvia's glitter, I don't know, liner slash eyeshadow. It's absolutely amazing and I got it in the shade Fula. And I honestly use it for every single look. You can just incorporate it into so many different looks. Uh, now I've got a little bit of skincare, this is not a skincare video, but I just happened to buy this at the same time. It's a vegan collagen serum for my face, which helps me to feel nice and fresh when I've cleansed my skin. And, and we do have a vegan retinoid cream as well. Maybe I'll do a separate skincare video one day, but Pacifica is the brand that I've been using for a while now. Just so good for vegan products and genuinely works so well. I'm just going through a few little dressing room faves of mine. Um, I've got a mini fan to use between and after shows and you're sweating so much to kind of dry my face. Um, I've got a baby hair mask that I'll put in underneath any wigs or hair pieces. Um, I've got my baby hair dryer which I take with me everywhere I travel. It is amazing, very powerful for how small it is. Um, a Babyliss Bambino I think it's called and my heart shaped bowl for washing my makeup brushes I've got some hair pieces there various different colours me and my friend like to swap colours to keep it fresh um, on the first night of every cruise I've just got some hair accessories here that are very show specific to these shows so we had a summer of 69 uh, rock show which was amazing so I've got some braid beads for that and some sunflowers and for another show, I got some Diamante crocodile clips and some normal crocodile clips just to add a bit of sparkle. And I do think things like this are the finishing kind of finesse to a show look um, if you do it in the right way. And also, I just thought I'd include a little snapshot of how my dressing room drawer was currently looking. I've got OGX dry shampoo and hairspray, and I've also got Aussie hairspray. I do find OGX for me is the best brand for hairspray and dry shampoo. 
I've got my satin robe there that I'll use to put on between shows if I don't want to get too hot and put my full outfit on, say. Um, those are all my glitters, another little snapshot of my drawer, there's a lot of things in there. Um, I keep my setting sprays, some of my brushes in there if I use them every single day, like for my powder, etc. Um, and some micellar water for repairing mistakes as I do my makeup. I've got my um, box of makeup brushes in there, a few of my hair bits of bobs. Um, a few beauty blenders that are used for the paint that we use. And these are some of the things that I did buy when I did a sort of makeup shop. The skincare that is from earlier is in there, but I ordered these glitters just to share with everyone in the dressing room um, and a few little transfers. Uh, these are actually for nails, but I use them to stick on my face with eyelash glue to enhance my looks. I ordered some new eyelashes and then, as I said, here is the skincare from earlier and also my foundation and the glitter eyeshadow from earlier and that for now is everything that i have in my makeup kit thank you so much for being here and watching this video i am going to love you and leave you now with a little montage of some of the show looks that i have achieved with this makeup kit from my last contract do consider subscribing to my channel for more show related content have a blessed day and I will catch you next time.